Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for the Fantastic Four edition of Friday's Finds. We got four really cool products that we're gonna check out today. And we're going, we're just, we're going to get, it's going to be, a, this, this one might be a little bit long. We're going to kick it off with the High Life, the High Life Portable Garment Steamer. Yeah. When they reached out to me, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of cool. I'll help you out. I'll, I'll do an Amazon video for you. Comes with a little, little cup. After I got it open, I got really impressed and really excited. We need some distilled water. I'll be right back. When High Life reached out to me about creating some video content on their, their steamer, I, I, I saw a potential. As you know, we've been traveling uh, for Yappy's work. The last several campground videos, were that we were down there because she had to go down there to do some work. So she has to have in-person work, not virtual work. So she has to wear business attire. And one of the big challenges, if you're an RVer, you'll recognize if traveling in an RV is not conducive to well-pressed clothing. So if she needed to iron something, she's having to iron that on the dinette, which is what she sets up as her virtual office. <laughs> so this is a bit of a headache. High Life reached out to me and said, would you be interested in doing a video on this? I'm like, that has some potential. But I, I, I was not excited until I started working with it. It's, it's not fancy. It's just, you know, this is your lid. This is your nozzle. It comes with a couple of brush attachments. And it, it's just a little vessel. But what I want, what impressed me was the speed, how fast this thing gets hot. Now I have not had this plugged in or turned on today. It's real time. And not only can you use it to keep your clothes looking fresh pressed, you can use it to boil water for tea or coffee. You could do a pour over coffee with that. I think, and it's 
it's the size of an iron. So you get two different functions or, or multiple different possibilities with it. I mean, you could steam clean some stuff. You, you can't tip it over sideways, but you could steam clean some stuff. A more practical option rather than having an iron. So the High Life Portable Garment Steamer. Only got a winner. All right. Let's go. On. Let, let's move on to number two in the Fantastic Four. I'm gonna need a knife. So number number two sponsor for this Fantastic Four edition of Friday's Finds is BMT. BMT. I don't know what that's if that's initials for something or if that's just what they go by, but it doesn't matter. This got me excited. We've worked with several of these before. This one's got me excited. Let's open it up. Take a look. So this is the BNT Solar Streetlight. Now this got me really excited for a couple of reasons. And the number one reason, it's a bifacial solar panel. So, so if you don't know what a bifacial solar panel is, that means that it, produces electricity from light hitting both the top and the bottom. So the, the bottom is a solar panel and the top is a solar panel. Bifacial, hence the name bifacial. There's a lot of reasons to go with a solar street light. One is you don't have to worry about lighting circuits or paying for electricity. So in our case, we've got 10 acres way out in the boonies. We don't have electricity on it yet. So I can take this out there, I can put this up, and I'll have a street light for those to light up the night for those times when we need light. And that's really interesting because you can't really tell where the LEDs are. So it'll be it'll be really I'm really excited about seeing this light up at night. Let's see what else is in this this package. It would be the mounting hardware, a remote control. That's right, a remote control. So one of the this has a a dual function lighting so it'll operate at 30 percent until the motion detector detects motion and then it switches to a hundred percent and so it's conserving power but what's really interesting that since this is a bifacial panel while it is generating light it is also creating electricity now it's not a perpetual circuit it's not producing as much as it's using but it's producing enough that it extends the lighting time which i think is just amazing so we're gonna i'm gonna find a place to mount this I'm, we don't you don't need to see me see it you don't need to see me doing the mounting process. What you need to see to know whether or not this is something of interest to you, you need to see it lighting up at night. So I'm gonna get it mounted, get, get it out here in the sun so it can get some charge. And then after dark, we'll come out here and check it out. All my ladders are down at the property. I don't have any ladders, so can't get too high. That'll have to do for now. 
we'll, we'll come back after dark and check it out. Meanwhile, let me get some stuff out of the way. We'll move on to number three on the Fantastic Four. Friday's fine. So, so number three on the Fantastic Four. This is actually something that's near and dear to my heart. When I started having the nerves, I got nerve stuff. We don't need to go into detail. This is not a video about nerve stuff. I got nerve stuff. Uh, there was a time where I, I absolutely had to have my feet elevated because they hurt so bad. But I needed to work on the computer. So I went in search of a, a desk solution for my recliner. And I could not find one. I, I spent so much time searching for something that would allow me to have the laptop in my de in have have the laptop in a comfortable location in my not so much in my lap but eye level so I wasn't hunched over creating neck issues and a TV tray wouldn't work so I went through a number of solutions and I finally decided to build my own and so I created my recliner desk and it's a pivoting platform. It's counterbalanced by the recliner sitting on the platform. That was the solution I ended up with because there wasn't anything like that available. So now that we're moving in the direction of full-time RV for, for a short period of time, I need a, a solution and I've got the York desk that gives me the opportunity to put the laptop in my in my lap at a, at a good height but it's real inconvenient because if you want to get up you got to find a place to set that uh, so I thought well I'll, I'll look around and and see what's available I have some ideas for uh, some existing products in the RV and boat market that would, would that would work. But while I was looking around, I ran across this, and I reached I reached out to the company because I needed to show you this. This is from this is from Stander, and I want to say a big shout out of thanks to Stander for for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. I reached out to them and said, people got to know about this. They specialize in helping you get up and down. <laughs> That's really what they do. They have a whole line of products specifically designed for people that need help getting up or getting down or, or, or balancing. People like me. This is the Omni Tray. That is exactly what I needed 10, 15 years ago when I manufactured my, had to manufacture my, when I had to manufacture my own. So let's, let's open this thing up, put it together and see if it is as fantastic as I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. What's great about it is it will work with just about any piece of furniture that has two legs. Even a recliner that helped the, 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 the standing, the get up recliners. I'm drawing a blank as to what they're called. Uh, Yappy's stepdad needed assistance getting up. This would have been so great for him. He, he was, he had polio as a child, so he, he always had issues getting up and down. So the table pivots. It's a bamboo top. And it can support, the table itself can support 30 pounds. So let me, let me do some assembly, put this together, and I'll go put it under a chair and you can get a look at it. I'll be right back. Assembly complete. Well, that's what it looks like. Now, you can see it better <laughs> than I can. A little tall for me. It's adjustable on the base. So that you, it does come with a tool kit to, for assembly. Very clear instructions. 
a limited lifetime warranty. Limited lifetime warranty. That's incredible. The table is adjustable. There's two bolts here, so you can adjust the angle. You'll notice that the support arm runs a little down, so you might need to tweak it a little bit. And if you want to do a reader style, well, depending on how you're sitting, will determine where that goes. And then it pivots here also. So let's go put it under a chair and give it a test drive. In case you're wondering about the blankets, that's so uh, the ratty pack can lay on the furniture. And so TV tray height. Got a good grip right there. Help me get up. Dinner time. Computer time. That's that's an excellent height. Let's put a computer on it. See how that fits. That is the ideal height for working on my laptop. If this had been available when I when I had to build the other one, I wouldn't have had to build the other one. I think Yeppy would have liked this a whole lot better. Ah. Yeah, I think that's a heck of a deal. If you or anyone in your family has up and down issues, need to get your feet elevated, that's, that's a winner winner. If you're eating, <laughs> Even if you don't have up and down issues and you're eating on a TV tray every night. I sure beats the heck out of pulling them TV trays out and it'll hold a lot more than a TV tray. It's height adjustable as well. So that's highest position. And that's the lowest position. So if you've got a short chair here, that's that's the highest point that it'll go. And then we'll go all the way down. And once you figure out the right height, there's a set screw right there to lock that into place so it becomes more sturdy. Got a little flex in it, but that's because I didn't tighten down. There's a there's some set screws to hold that thing solid. I'm I'm yeah. That's a good deal. Alright. Moving on to number four. Thank you, Standifer, for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. Thank you for making this product and all of the other great products that you make as well. The Omni Tray. I like this thing. It's, it's winner, winner. It's, a, it's exactly what they said. 100%. All right, moving on. Product number four. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to fully display this today because the wind is picked up. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to Gear Top for sponsoring this part of the Friday's Finds Fantastic Four Edition. Gear Top. Experience the journey. Well, let's experience getting the box open. Now, I've worked with one of these. I've worked with a similar product in the past. You never saw it. Because <laughs> there were some issues. Gear top. 
I think may have solved those problems. This is a canvas, or not a canvas, this is a nylon car SUV truck awning. Got a pretty bag, gear top. So if you're out, car camping, truck camping, van camping, and, and, and you need some protection from the elements, the sun, the rain, that's what this is all about. It has several ways to attach it to the vehicle. And with, with the, I live on, a, on top of a hill and the wind here is relentless. Nice stakes. They're not, they're not real heavy. They're aluminum, but they're nice. They're a nice size. So they're going to get some friction. Nice ropes. Nice heavy duty paracord. It's got a repair patch. Let me put that back in here so it doesn't blow away. We've got suction cup so you can stick it to glass or the side of your vehicle. You can see the wind is blowing that box. If I, if I go around front, it'll be twice as much wind. So not only is this a, a canopy, but it also has kind of a, a tent wall. It does not in, come with support poles. So if you go back, I don't know, back way, way back in time on the Friday's Finds playlist, I did a video where I showed you some really cool tent poles. They're, they're, they're not just tent poles, they're, they're support poles. I carry those in the truck and I also carry tarps in the truck because sometimes you need, you need to throw up a shelter, a shade. So you're gonna wanna have, wait a minute, I, I'll go get them. Brick. Telescoping poles, you, you just, it's a twist and lock. So these are the kind of poles you're going to need. Of course, with all these products, they are found on Amazon. And there will be a link down below and up above. And I am an Amazon influencer. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendations page. All right, so we, I'm going to go set it up. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try. There's a whole lot that I like about this. Look at this. This is so cool. This 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 gear top canopy. I'm real impressed. The little things like we've got a nice uh, solid anchor point with a grommet in there to keep that from wallering out. Storage pouches. A shade wall and you can probably get a second one or you can move that one to the rear you've got a couple of different anchoring options for your strap so an aluminum rod with so we have an aluminum rod with a metal tip this is well constructed. You can hang a light up there. That'll support a pretty good light. Pretty good weight. There's, there's pockets on this wall as well. This, this is the perfect shower tent if you're van lifing. That is going to become a permanent part of the truck kit. I'm extremely excited about that. There's, there's nothing 
about this that feels cheap. It's really good quality nylon fabric. I don't know what the density is, but it's, it's, it's quite a bit heavier than a lot of the things that I've worked with. There's a lot of stuff I work with that you never see because it doesn't, it just doesn't, it's not something I'm going to put my name behind. This, yeah, I'll endorse this. This is the gear top. This is awesome. I would just need to wait for it to get dark. Hey, that's a whole lot of solar powered street light. It's pretty cool the way those, so you're getting a little flickering on your side because of the frame rate. But it's kind of cool the way that the LED lights are bleeding through. I guess I need to up the frame rate on the camera, but anyway. That's a whole lot of solar powered street light right there. I think that's a heck of a deal because it's charging itself as it's lighting up. All right, check in. <laughs> and here we're some light. All right, we'll check in tomorrow. Maybe I need to carry this with me and shoot videos with it. <laughs> it's like really bright. That brings us to the end of this Fantastic Four edition of Friday's Finds. Uh, all, all four of these, well actually it, it turned out to be five with the, the poles. <laughs> they, were a, they were just secondary bit part, you know. Anyway, we're at the end of this video. I think all four of these products were, are a good value. They're, they all do as they are intended to do. Really excited about the stand-up desk. That definitely is, it fills the niche very well. And the street light, I, that thing is just, yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, we got another one. We don't need, I want it dark out in the country. Anyway, that's, that's another, that's another video. So if, if you enjoyed our Fantastic Four edition of Friday's Finds, please click on that thumbs up, blast me out across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you would hit that subscribe button. Remember to tap that bell as well. I do this just about every Friday. That's why it's called Friday's Finds. And I produce lots of RV related content as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I am truly honored that you let me spend some time with you. I'm truly honored that you give me some of your time. Thank you for that and for my patrons. I am so grateful. I am so very grateful. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?